Cincinnati found out one thing more boring than a baseball game, a parade. Is the parade more tolerable when you smoke a blunt or not? Yes. Because <laughs> yeah, otherwise, what the hell are these people walking around? You got to be high to make sense of this, right? Indeed. <laughs> high to enjoy a parade, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> you, gotta, you guys just be watching this shit sober. You want to hit it? I, yeah, I'll, I'll chill for a second. <laughs> a little blunt, maybe a little beer. A couple beers. Otherwise, this is just some weird shit going on. Yeah. Why the hell are they in our neighborhood? <laughs> I don't know why, but it's fun. It is fun. You got to be high to enjoy this, right? Yeah, otherwise, what the hell is going on there? So, how y'all doing? Are we good? I'm trying to get with like you. I'm trying to get like you. <laughs> I, when you spin the block, we had this going. <laughs> hey, we got to split the block back. We spinning it back. We got to be drunk to enjoy a parade, right? Absolutely. I'm almost there, but I'm not there yet. <laughs> and the only, hey, the only thing more boring than a baseball game is what? A baseball game. A parade. <laughs> A parade before a baseball game. There, there you go. Yeah. A parade that ends in a baseball game. This man is very intelligent. Listen to what he's saying. It's a holiday, bitches. You're not supposed to smoke a cigar until the season's over, but it's very appropriate as a Reds fan. We do it before the season. Is that what's going on here? Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah we're we know what the lineup looks like. It's probably not. We're not winning the World Series this year, right? I don't know, man. I don't know anything about baseball. Really? No. You just like smoking cigars and looking at parades? Uh, opening day is just an excuse to day drink. This is one of the best days in Cincinnati history. This is the day. The day in Cincinnati. When we were growing up, we would just go up to our principal and be like, hey, I'm leaving school. Yeah, I'm real sick, but we're going to get out of here. No, they would never care, though. They were just like, I'm going to a baseball game. I'm not going to social studies. And now we're back. Deuces. And now we're out. Now we're adults, and every day is a holiday, baby. Treat every day like opening day. Cheers. Also, who day to you and yours? So are you guys attached to the parade then with these vests? Uh, we're parade marshals here. So how many parades have you seen in your life? So many that I don't even remember. But my man, you're, you're part of just overseeing the parade as a whole, right? Yeah. What, what Do we like the pacing so far? That pacing's great, yeah. Did you think it was a little early? They were a little too fast. They slowed into it, though? Oh, uh, I thought early it seemed a little slow from my perspective, actually. Really? It was a little held up Kinda at first. Find your groove. Picked up. Yeah. Picked up. Yeah. Nice pacing. What, what are we doing, one to two miles per hour, or is this three that I'm seeing now? I'd say it's about a 2.5. So 2.5 2. is a good pacing. Yeah, um, and walking then, pace. Walking pace, OK. Absolutely. What Now, what is a parade? This is just watching traffic. Uh, I mean, yeah, if you want to look at it that way, it seems a little pessimistic to me, though. So human traffic, it's like watching human trafficking, is that what we're doing? Uh, I'd say it's more like getting the community together and, and getting the city excited for baseball. I love That's it. That's what this is all about. It's the only thing more boring than a baseball game. Uh, Are we watching human trafficking? Is that what's happening? Possibly, you possibly. It possibly. seems wrong. It's like, here's a bunch of eight-year-olds. I'm like, bro, we shouldn't all be watching eight-year-olds. What the fuck's going on? Uh, Parade is just watching traffic, right? Yes, a hundred percent. Also, human traffic. Uh, uh, Are we that's, watching that's, human trafficking? Uh, that's kind of weird, but I'll allow it. That I was, guess I don't know. We're in charge of human trafficking, right there in downtown Cincinnati. We're, we're, we're parade marshals. That's big news. That's, big news. that's not good. Uh, I don't know. I'm calling it like I see it. Here on Turner Comedy, a young Reds fan with a clean fit, dude. How old are you, my man? Uh, I'm 20. 20. Oh, uh, well, you're 21 today. What is that there? This is orange juice. <laughs> this is orange. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. This is my proof here that just being a Reds fan is just leads to having a drinking problem. Is that is that fair? Uh, I would say so. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, you'll have a drinking problem in the future, but wait until you're 21 to have it. That's all yeah, I'm saying. Absolutely. Yeah. So yeah. It'll be Bengals, Bearcats, Reds. It's gonna yes. be. It leads yes. to yes. drinking problem. Ulcers. You getting them checked for ulcers at this age yet? Well, it's gonna happen. Are you getting checked for ulcers? I, it's probably already there. Get, so. get a pinky up his butthole soon. <laughs> Look at these kids. Future alcoholics. The, Future booze bags, dude. You're a Reds fan at eight? Good luck, bud. Is this your father here? No, 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 no. <laughs> no? No. I was gonna say, did he raise you to be this? Guy's possible. Possible. Illegitimate father? Hey, yeah, he was in the neighborhood back in 20 years ago. I got along, I got around a lot. <laughs> That's amazing. Do you know your father? Oh, yes, I know my father. <laughs> oh, okay. I got a dead one, so it's all no, good. Don't. That's why I got a drinking problem. Ah! An alcoholic since 1990, or when did you start? <laughs> A pre-alcoholic. A pre-me pre alcoholic? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah. stepping up. His whole life's been building towards this. Predisposition. <laughs> this is all opening day. This is just an excuse to start drinking at noon, right? Exactly. Noon, 9 a.m. There you go. You how long you been a Reds fan? Uh, about 10 years. Oh, there you go. Okay, where are you from originally? Cincinnati, right here. <laughs> but, but it took you, how, long, how many years did it take you to jump on? <laughs> My man held out. He was like, about 10 years ago, I figured it out. 
Yeah, I figured it out. You got to be a Cincinnati Red fan and a Bingo fan. There you go, about 10 years ago. That's good. You jumped on when they actually had a team. Joey, he was like waiting for Joey Votto to win an MVP, and he's like, now nah, I'm a fan. Hey, you guys, this is really just a nice excuse to drink during the day, right? Oh, for sure, yeah. 100%. Yeah. Half day off work, yeah. Say drink away. Can anybody even name the third baseman at this point? No, I have no idea. We're not even going to the game. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Cincinnati, baby, we know how to drink. Can you guys name the starting third baseman today, though? Oh, no, definitely not. The starting third baseman. Spencer Steer. Oh, this guy's got a fantasy league. What the fuck's his name? I don't even know. Steer, Steer. Oh, OK, see, yeah, there we go. Think about him. What's the prospect on him? What's the scouting report? Um, let's see. Uh, slap hitter with gap power. Slap hitter with gap, I mean, I don't know. Does he, does he have a good car that can drive between here and Louisville? I don't know. Uh, uh, is it Scott Rowland? It's not, not Scott, Scott Rowland. Is it Chris Sabo? It is definitely not Chris Sabo, but I do have a Chris Sabo the... autographed baseball. <laughs> yeah. and that should count for something. Can you name the third baseman of the Cincinnati Reds? Sabo. <laughs> is this, now we're traveling back in time? You guys are time travelers too? What about today? No idea. <laughs> right? Me neither. But God damn it, I like drinking in public, and we're going to do that today. Shout out to Cincinnati. Can you name the third baseman today? I sure can't. Can you name the shortstop? I can't name uh, <laughs> no, okay. A flong Reds fan out the womb. Right? Well, you're a, you a Mets fan out the womb. Mets fan out the womb, but yes, converted to Reds for sure. What? Uh, who's the starting third baseman today? Scott Rowland. <laughs> who's the starting shortstop? Barry Larkin. Who's the left fielder? Adam Dunn. Adam Dunn, baby. Where's the team that I love, dude? I don't know any of these guys. Now let's see where you. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't remember Johnny Bench, but I remember like Chris Sabo, Hal Morris. Where, where are my boys at? Larkin and them. Yeah. Where are my boys at? I don't know anybody in them. Where they at? Where they at? They gonna win today. You gonna? They gonna win today? Yes, they they might get some L's after this, but today, we winning, baby. Ah! You're here to try out. And guess what? I tell Mr. Castellini we're a lot cheaper than he pays today. Yeah. We're pretty good. Yeah, you, you get, we need a third baseman. I don't know who this steer guy is. Uh, that guy. You need a third baseman? Good. I try every now and then. Yeah. Pitcher. Pitcher? Yep. There you go. Yep. Now, well, what are you throwing these days? What are you topping out at? Uh, 12. <laughs> That's just a hair faster than this parade is today. Yeah, 12. Yeah. 12 miles per hour. That's what the Ford Taurus is doing over there through there. Who's no, single here? No, nobody. Uh, nobody. Nobody. Really? But this is just boys day out. Yeah. Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Men's day, Wednesday. Meanwhile, it's a Thursday. It's Thursday. It's Thursday. 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 I will give you this is the, Also, this is the, all married. This is the gayest shit I've ever seen. <laughs> but I, I will give you a hamburger on Tuesday for a filming on Wednesday. <laughs> is that code for I'm coming out of the closet? What is this? <laughs> I'm not part of this team anymore. <laughs> he's out. He's out. He's, he's switching to the other team. <laughs> what are we doing here, guys? <laughs> Are you actually Mr. Red Lake? Are you are you related at all? I am. I'm, really? a, I'm a distant cousin. Are you? Yes. Okay. So so through marriage or is it blood? No, we live way out on the east side. <laughs> no, Mr. Yeah. Red Lake lives downtown. We so, live on the east side. So you could be kissing cousins. <laughs> we <laughs> we might be. That, that far on the east side. I don't know. <laughs> does he still text you back at all, Mr. Red Lake? He does. Okay. So you yeah, guys are still tight. We are. Thanksgiving, Christmas. Rosie, that what? Rosie's cool with us too. Really? Yeah. Now right. Rosie's. She's after a couple of beers, I heard she just kind of gets loose with the boys. What, what's the word there? I, I haven't seen that happen. No? No. I'm, no. In, I'm in her DMs if you can say anything to just <laughs> let Rosie kind of nudge her. I'm only you, in town till Monday. You cannot speak badly about Rosie. No, no. I no, just she's the best. You just wonder what a blowjay from she Rosie is, the is best. like. No, no, no. No, no. It's family for you. I get it. <laughs> yeah, I get no it. way. It's just being weird. But I thought, hey, I thought, really, hey, not an east side of them. You just crossed the line. You don't talk about Rosie no, like that. you don't. <laughs> no, them's fighting words. Well, I mean, I look, I'm a nice guy. Yeah. I got a Tiguan almost paid off. I got a rent to own. I got a 35-year-old roommate, but he just got an air fryer, so I got an air fryer now. So just tell Rosie, good credit. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Let her know I'm in her DMs. <laughs> just tell Rosie Red to hit me up. <laughs> Holla at your boy. How long you been a Reds fan? One year. One year? This, you picked the worst year to ever jump on no, board. No, no, no. Who's your favorite Red? Uh, the uh, ball, the dude with the baseball head. The dude with the baseball head is his favorite red. You heard it here first. How long you been a Reds fan? I don't honestly know. That's yeah. He's holding out. It took him about 50 years to figure it out. Now hold out hope. Let them earn it. Don't just don't just jump at it. Never chase the bag. All right. Teach the youth. You don't want this hurt. You don't want this hurt. Who's your favorite red? <laughs> What you think? What's she saying? Can you translate? Let's translate! 
<laughs> he said, what's translated? That's too big of a word. We can't be using these big words. Kayak. Yeah, that's a, that's my favorite red, too. What, how you feeling? Good. Good? What's today? Friday. It's Thursday, but that's close. And then what else is happening? Monday. <laughs> Monday? Now we're naming days. Now he knows two out of seven. That's important, y'all. It's opening day, too. You like the Reds today? Yeah. 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 And in the future, you get to get off school when they play opening day. Don't ever let them not tell you that, all right? Just skip it. Don't just throw yourself at this team. It's going to be a tough, tough life if you do that, okay? Are you even going to the game or are you just drinking in public? I'm not. Um, <laughs> I am drinking at a place with some excellent beer, High Grain Brewing, out of Silverton. You're hard pressed to find better craft beer in Cincinnati. And that's how Thank you, you also. From somebody who works in the bourbon industry. Oh my God, dude, are we getting double pitched right now? Is this a double plug? Sales. This is not like a fun threesome. He's getting double plugged right now. Jesus. As a former TV journalist, I know this is not making the airway. And what's your dog's name? No, I'm kidding. I have a cat, for sure. Yeah, I'm a cat. He's got a cat? Okay, so a baseball fan that still gets pussy when he goes home. There we go. Yeah. <laughs>